Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Data Standard Audio Experience. I'm your host, Catherine Tao. Today, we have Ora Nuri, the Head of Engineering in Market Intelligence at Take Metrics. And today, we're going to be speaking about market intelligence data. So welcome to the show, Ora. I'm excited to speak with you today. Hey, Catherine. Thank you for having me. Yeah, definitely. Could you tell the audience more about just your background and your experiences? Sure. So first of all, hi again. Uh, my name is Ora Nuri. I'm 29, uh, based in Israel and the head of engineering in, in uh, market intelligence at Take Metrics. Uh, I hold a uh, B science in computer science and start my uh, master science uh, in machine learning and uh, data science this October. In 2018, together with my co-founder Alon, we founded Adjustico, a market intelligence platform for e-commerce. Last October, we were acquired by Take Metrics and Alon and I are working there uh, up until today. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And how would you define market intelligence data? So a lot of people are getting confused between market intelligence and business intelligence. While business intelligence data uh, concentrates mainly on the inner workings of an enterprise, such as uh, if their metrics are within the industry standards and so, market intelligence data is sourced from uh, external factors. Today, when competition is rising up, from almost any part of the world, the need for uh, intelligence data is fast becoming a necessity to keep up with the consumer and market trends. As the name implies, it gets from the consumer markets themselves. This includes very important data points such as uh, consumer and market trends, age group to spending power ratios, as well as uh, marketing penetration in different sections. Yeah, great explanation there. That sounds awesome. In terms of market intelligence, how have you been able to kind of use this to bring insight to your company and just solve these um, intricate problems here? Okay, so imagine a scenario. You are a small business trying to make your mark in a certain industry and all of your competitors have been uh, around there for decades and any of them can box you out using the uh, just uh, sheer reach, uh, influence, and of course, experience. However, on your side, you have all the data about your competitors, their strong and weakness seasons, their blind spots in logistics and distribution, all of their uh, pricing strategies, their brand coverage on search, and also their level of market penetration. This enables us uh, at Take Metrics to provide our customers the best advertising optimization, inventory management, and of course, market intelligence services. Yeah, that sounds great. And with market intelligence, I'm sure there's a lot of different moving parts with it, but who is primarily involved with um, market intelligence? Is it the engineers, the business stakeholders? Who is kind of all involved with doing all of this? So everything in, in Take Metrics starts from the customers and of course, our service team. We are identifying a pain point, of course, and then uh, it continues to our product managers who work closely with them, both the customers and the service team. After that, the R&D teams of Take Metrics, of course, are doing their best to provide the best technological uh, solutions to solve the pain point of our customer. Together, we are understanding the need uh, of our customers, designing the product according to it, and then developing the solution using top tier technologies. Yeah, I mean, that sounds great. And I'm sure with all of the work that you've been doing, especially with market intelligence, there must be some challenges that come with, with working with everything. So what are some of the biggest challenges that you face with market intelligence? Okay, so I would say that with the food comes the appetite. <laughs> so as long as we are providing more and more insights, uh, which customers and of course, uh, other people in take metrics use, uh, were not used to get, people are asking more and more and more. And like at the end of the day, we are, uh, we are humans, we have only two hands and we would like to have uh, some more hands to develop more <laughs> and faster. Uh, but this is, I would say, the main challenge because we see uh, our customer uh, becoming more and more uh, like hungry, I would say, to market intelligence data because they get a lot of value from it. Also, like the same thing for uh, other uh, teams on Take Metrics. Yeah, definitely. And thank you so much for sharing about um, the challenges that you've also faced too. I think it's important to talk about it as well. And what is your favorite part about working at Take Metrics? Since I'm sure there's a lot of different um, problems that you're solving every day, and there's always uh, new things coming up every day. So, what is your favorite part about it? So, I would say that the one thing is the fact that we are customer obsessed with all that it uh, like entails. Every new product or feature is actually coming from the customer's uh, pain points. Besides that, the team, of course, is great. Like I started working the Take Metrics around half a year ago, something like that. 
And since then, I was lucky to meet great and super professional people and teammates. And in general, I would say that I'm super happy to be part of Take a Metrics. Yeah, that sounds great. And I know that your specific line of work is your head of engineering, specifically in market intelligence. So how did you kind of figure out that you were interested in the market intelligence side as well, instead of just wanting to do just the engineering stuff? So I think that Alon and I, when we founded Adjustico uh, in 2018, we fell in love with the problem uh, that people are blind to their market. So we see a lot of money spent on marketing and advertising, uh, mainly on e-commerce, and people are not getting enough insights from the like platforms that they are advertising on. So for example, let's say that you are a brand that puts a lot of money uh, on advertising in Amazon or Walmart. So you are not getting back enough insights on your performance, specifically on advertising. So you are putting money and you'll get, okay, like, this amount of people saw your ad, this amount of people clicked on it, and this is the number of sales you made. But what about where my ad was positioned? On which search term, for example? Who are my competitors? Like who I'm competing with? Who is having the most uh, brand coverage on search for each search term? Those insights are super, 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 I would say, interesting for me, of course. And I think that this is what makes me super passionate about uh, market intelligence in general. Yeah, definitely. And I wanted to also kind of stray away from talking about the technical work that you do at um, Takeometrics and just talk about any hobbies or pastimes that you've been able to pick up during um, this time. So is there anything that you've been doing kind of just for fun to uh, pass the time? Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> so the first thing, of course, is uh, eating. I love eating. Like, I'm uh, I'm a foodie. I'm this guy that all his friends is asking him uh, which uh, restaurant should I pick for, uh, like, for my anniversary or uh, for my birthday. So this is one of the main uh, hobbies of, uh, of mine, I would say. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds great. And that sounds like so much fun to just be able to suggest your friends some um, food places as well. Definitely. Sometimes it can be, it can be like uh, it bothers because people are, uh, can, can like uh, call me at, I would say, 1 a.m. Listen, oh, I'm stuck in uh, Tel Aviv and I'm super hungry. And uh, what, what is the best thing to eat right now? I was like, man, this is like it's 1 a.m. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And I want to say thank you so much, Aura, for joining us today. Um, we at the Data Standard, we're trying to build a community of data enthusiasts and data thought leaders. So everyone has a place where they can collaborate and connect with each other. So what is something we can do for you? So I would say that I'm always interested in meeting and learning from you people. Like I'll be happy to connect with any other people who uses market intelligence data to improve their products, for sure. And any other people that are in the field of data science. In general. Yeah, definitely. And I'll make sure to connect you with um, some people within our community after this call. Definitely. Yeah. Happy. Where can everyone find you online to connect? So uh, for sure, all of you can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, and as said, I'll be happy to meet and learn from each of you. Yeah, perfect. And to our audience, for more information on the Data Standard, you can find us at www.datastandard.io, as well as on our LinkedIn and YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Or, for joining us. It was so great to speak with you more about market intelligence, and we hope to speak to you again soon. Thank you, Catherine, for having me. It was great and honor to be part of the Data Standard podcast. <laughs>